Hey guys, Irene here. If you have been following my Instagram posts and if you have seen my recent YouTube video, you would know that I traveled to Israel in April. So why did I even go there? Well, the nonprofit organization called Vibe Israel invited me on the photography tour in Israel. They bring influencers from all over the world to experience Israel for what it is, for its energy, food, people, and history. And I mean, how could I say no to that? So I always get quite nervous when I'm about to do something that I've never done before. My anxiety just kicks in and I mean, I was gonna go there just by myself. I've never done anything like that, but everything put aside, this trip was absolutely amazing and it definitely has exceeded all of my expectations. So I'm super happy to finally share this experience with you guys. So I arrived in Tel Aviv on Monday, April 24th and then I got to Jerusalem, which is around two hours away from Tel Aviv, where me and four other photographers were staying at the hotel called Bezalel Hotel. Um, and yeah, this is where our tour started in Jerusalem. Oh man, okay, please ignore my face. Um, it's been a very long flight. But I'm so happy to be here. I just got to my hotel room and I just wanted to show you guys some cool things that they left for me here on the bed. I have halva. I love this stuff. We have uh, halva in Ukraine as well. Oh, I have some dry fruit, more dry fruit, some spice tea infusion. Ah, uh, hell yeah, I love tea. Nuts and some chocolates. What is this? Postcards? gonna have to open this I'm about to leave downstairs to meet everyone and we're gonna go for dinner and uh, I'm a little bit nervous because <laughs> I'm I don't know if I'm good at first impressions or giving first impressions but I don't know hopefully it'll go good and we're all gonna be good friends so later on we went to have dinner at Mensa and they were so nice and accommodating specifically for me because I am vegan so they were bringing like separate things just specifically for me that didn't have cheese or meat or any seafood in it so thank you so much and we had a lot of drinks that night so it was a lot of fun we got to meet Ido and Adva who are part of the Vibe Israel team and were helping us along the way and being our guides through this photography tour. A few important words for your week in Israel. So I was saying that in Israel uh, we use Hebrew as the main language. Some people know English, some know, but since we're in the Middle East and we also have like Arabs here, so we also use a lot of words in Arabic. So an important word Maybe the most important one is not even in Hebrew, it's in Arabic, it's Yalla. Yalla. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually it's like go. Gesture, go. <laughs> go, go. Go, go. Exactly. And Everyone got along really well because everyone was super nice and sweet and it was amazing to spend a lot of time with all of the other like-minded people, photographers and share our experiences and talk about what we do and what we like to photograph and things like that so it was a fun night. So the next day we went out onto the streets of Jerusalem to do some street photography. Uh, why I love this trip is because I was challenged to do so many different styles of photography that I just normally don't do or like actually never really done before um, and it's really cool because it spikes your creativity and makes you look at things in a certain different way and do things in a different way so I really enjoyed that aspect and I mean they mainly did it because we had so many different photographers in our group like Joe for example is a street photographer and he does a lot of like storytelling through his photography um, Nassim is a landscape photographer and wildlife photographer Sarah does some underwater photography in Hawaii which is so completely different from what all of us do and then Juan does some street photography and architectural photography so we were all so so different which I think made a really cool dynamic and really cool group of people and before we started shooting we met with Joanna who is CEO and the founder of Vibe Israel who explained to us 
what Vibe Israel stands for and all of the good things about it. Uh, by the way, the pictures that I'm inserting here are taken by Nir, who is an amazing fashion photographer from Israel, from Tel Aviv. Again, I'll insert everyone's information in the description down below so you guys can check out everyone's work. Yeah, it was really cool to find out all of the information about Israel that I never really knew. Like the fact that Tel Aviv is second in the world after Silicon Valley for its startups. I never knew that. Uh, and I could definitely feel that energy throughout this whole trip. Like that very innovative, new and young energy throughout Tel Aviv, which was really, really cool. So finally we go into the old city of Jerusalem and it was absolutely amazing to see all of these religious sites the energy there feels like there's just so many people that went through these same steps uh, people from all around the world from different ethnicities and religion and parts of the world and all being kind of connected with one thing and wanting to see this one specific place i thought that that was really really cool um there were a lot of really awesome places for us to photograph and i think i took some really awesome pictures specifically in the church i literally had to pull out a youtube sepulcher. video that tells you how to pronounce it sepulcher sepulcher is that right i feel like that's wrong anyways it's the holy church of sepulcher Hopefully I'm saying it right, please correct me in the comments below if I'm saying it wrong, I probably am But it's known to be the first Christian church and it's believed to have the tomb of Jesus in the church This church has a crazy atmosphere inside, it's very hard to describe It's kind of a feeling of something very grand and ancient and powerful and just the thought of all of these, again, all of these people just coming there and experiencing something like this. I just thought that that was an absolutely amazing place. And if you're ever in Jerusalem, 100% uh, recommend checking out this church. I'm not a very religious person. I'm more spiritual, but for some reason, I felt so at peace and so amazed in there. So I think even if you're not someone religious, I think it just has something, you know? I think it's just an amazing place to visit. And I took so many amazing pictures in there that I really, really liked. Um, again, I'm not a street style photographer and I don't know if these are good or bad, but for me personally, I really, really liked them and it was an amazing experience photographing people in the church. After that we went to the western wall and I wrote a prayer on the piece of paper that I was able to put in the wall. I thought that that was really cool. And then again, it just the feeling there is indescribable. You just have to be there to experience it and it was really, really awesome. We also tried some street food in Jerusalem which was uh, delicious. I'm always down for some food, I'm always hungry. And we also went to take some street photography in the markets. The markets really remind me of Ukrainian ones, of Ukrainian bazaar. It's just 
bunch of people trying to bargain and trying to sell things. Everything is very colorful, everything is very loud. I think it's an absolutely perfect scenario for anyone who is into street photography, who is into travel photography. So again, we had a lot of fun there. Also, what I really noticed is that people really don't mind being photographed. Everyone is super friendly and smiley, so I didn't feel intimidated to photograph you know, the streets. So after shooting in the old city, we went for some dinner in a very local place and I absolutely loved the food there. I mean, being vegan in Israel in general, I think is very, very easy because even the restaurants that don't have a vegan option will always have hummus and pita and a bunch of grilled vegetables and zucchini and eggplant and all of that. So it was super easy for me and I was never hungry. And we met with Avi there who is who is a founder and director of a photography school in Jerusalem. It was really inspirational to meet him and hear him talk about teaching kids. They also teach a lot of kids with disabilities and they were telling us how the art really helps them to open up and being more creative really just helps them in general. So I thought that that was really, really amazing. Finally, in the evening, we went back to the market. The market is open pretty late, so we went to the beer bazaar and had some dinner there, tried a lot of different beers. They were all delicious. And yeah, again, we just kind of talked, took some more pictures, and then we headed back to the hotel. I'm gonna end this vlog here, but I'm gonna have a few more coming up very, very soon, and you do not want to miss it because we go into the desert, we are going to swim with the dolphins and do a lot more really awesome crazy stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a like, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you think about these travel vlogs and what do you think about my street photography. And I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!